All right, welcome to the channel, and today we'll be talking about the ZMF Atrium and how it compares to the ZMF Aeolus. This one's more of a top-of-the-line pricing, and the Aeolus is more of a uh, mid-tier, mid-level mid pricing and, and or entry-level for ZMF now. And the Atrium is a review unit, as you can see there, and these will be going back out to ZMF at some point. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my best to do a bunch of these comparison videos, and ZMF is not asking me to say or do anything other than my honest opinion regarding these, and so let's dive into the comparison. All right, so diving into how we're going to do a comparison with these, I'm going to kind of just keep it consistent and simple. Uh, I have a Bioelectric HPA V281, which is a, I believe, a discontinued model now, uh, as my solid state, but I've it's it's a solid state, so take that for what it is. And then I'll be utilizing a spring three from hollow audio that's my own the bioelectric is uh, on loan to me by a friend it's a pretty fantastic little amp so that's the chain i'll be using for audio i'll be utilizing cobuzz i'll list the tracks that i'm using uh, as i go along so let's start off with taking off a beanie so we can actually put these on our head uh, actually you know what i'm going to start with the aeolus so we'll be starting with the Aeolus, and I'm using balance cables for both of these for this comparison. I also want to just kind of touch on the Aeolus, to me, is just, it's it's comfort food. It's this lovely, uh, just warm blanket on a winter day in front of a fireplace with a nice hot cocoa or a nice whiskey or something like that. And this thing is just, especially the way I have it kind of put together here, is I have the ZMF suede universe pads i believe is what these ones are perforated the uh, suede headband from zmf as well and oh it's a pilot pad i believe and just i mean it's like putting a pillow on your head or a cloud it's just so comfortable yeah this thing is it that goes into like the audio signature as well in my opinion it's just this comfort food just warm enjoyable kind of not have to think about stuff and just relax kind of listen uh, very warm, very bassy. So, yeah, let's dive into it and see what the first track I'll put on. I'm thinking... Hmm. You know what? I was, I'm was i digging on... I probably should do something... You know, I, I, I'm going to go with the Twirl Me that I mentioned in my... A, <laughs> I put on Twirl Me by Wild Light, which I had in my Atrium video. Because I've been listening to it a lot, so it's in my in my head, and I can compare pretty well with that one. So, hit and play on Tormi. Okay, so, very, very enjoyable. It has a, a very decent, it, the staging isn't the widest, so, and that's just with the Aeolus, it's more about the, I mean, it's pretty good, but it's more about that warmth, it has a nice power behind there, and there's a nice uh, warm mid-range, and her vocals are really nice. The highs aren't super, you know, sparkly or anything like that. And there's really good imaging to me, but it definitely doesn't feel like something I would focus on. Like the imaging and the staging aren't things I'm really like thinking about when I'm listening with this. It's more I'm just kind of listening to the music and not really thinking about the rest of it. Like I'm more, if you can imagine, paying attention to what's being said and, and saying in, in the story there, I guess, and the musical instruments and how they interact with each other less so about the the details of it. Let's dive into the lovely atrium in comparison on the same track. This is super light, super comfortable as well. It's like a different, because of the, the leather, like it's just so light, it feels, I don't know, it's crazy. It just, maybe the way it, I don't know, just feels light, I don't know what it is, because it's not exponentially lighter than, say, even the, well, these are Blackwood Aeolus, so that's gonna have them be heavy, but they're not, exponentially lighter than say my VOs for instance and it's but they just for whatever reason these ones just feel light on the head so back to twirl me and comparing let's go <laughs> so uh yeah wow so big big difference in presentation of the music this one's more ethereal more that stage is crazy good the mids just are magic there's these detail that you're getting and i'm pulling from this it's fantastic so there's uh like when she's singing in this track you can hear it with this one especially 
where it's kind of almost like little echoes that kind of like go back behind you or to the side a little bit and it's oh man like it's so cool sounding and then the way that the um God, i want to say it's like some either a harp or something and then there's a violin going it's just and you can hear it just kind of being it gives it that very it's like way out there and then also comes in close and like it's very uh ethereal i guess would be the best way to really describe that or have a word for it but it, the staging is really good the imaging is next next level comparatively to the aeolus the i would say where the aeolus does a little bit better is the bass presence i guess like the quantity of it whereas this has more of a uh like more like punchier a cleaner sounding bass like more of that sub bass like you know punchiness i kind of I mean, not kind of, I definitively would grab these over the Aeolus more often than not, depending on my mood. But the Aeolus to me is, it's kind of like that, a warm hug, you know? Like it's, so to me the Aeolus has its place for, like I said, that guilty pleasure, that, that warm hug kind of thing when you just, you don't want to deal with anything, you just want to put something on and just not think about anything. Uh, and all ZMFs have that, but I do find that the Aeolus tends to be the more warm, uh, lush kind of just let things go and hang out and not really think about too much whereas like these give you this engagement that's more focused I guess and would have more of a, a presence there that wow. same it's almost like a different coins right like the same sorry different side of the same coin and on some levels where the Aeolus is more of that warm lush this has that that neutral warm and it also just has so much like detail in that staging and the way it presents the the mids are i don't know it's just magic the way these come across and you get so much detail and the little like uh floating notes of music that kind of just are just right there and they're all and they just kind of float around and especially with this track just amazing so really impressed with that like comparatively wise fantastic so let's uh jump into like one more track and then we'll make this a quick video comparison i don't want to do too much uh craziness but i'm going to go with something that's you know something i play with all the time for these comparisons in general and i'm going to it's my kind of go-to track which is the go go penguin signal and the noise because i've heard this track a bazillion times <laughs> so this time we're going to start with the atrium and then go to the aeolus and we'll do a quick discussion of that go from there all right so let's signal and the noise this uh, go go penguin and hi ho silver away Whew, man these are something else these are some serious magic happening with those wow like the detail the imaging the way that the the notes roll off the the, the bass strumming the drums or the piano notes those remind me of going and listening to uh, a live jazz band or blues band and like sitting in like a small venue like maybe like a bar or something like that that's like a quiet bar like maybe at lunchtime or like after lunch and there's no one really there but the band's still playing kind of thing that's kind of reminds me of that a little bit like where it's just oh sounds so good and it's just it's not like crisp but it's clean and it has you can easily pull apart the parts that you want to listen for and hear them with ease and it but it presents them in such a nice a almost real sensation like a real way to me the way I recall listening to these kind of instruments live it reminds me of that so that's fantastic I really really get lost in this and that's something that I've been having a problem with doing these videos with this headphone is uh, and there's always been a problem with ZMF headphones for me anyways and, and listening in general because I usually start getting lost to the music what have you but especially with these ones more recently like every time I've gone to do these comparisons or like kind of back and forth, getting more listening time in with them, I lose time, lose track of it. Lose, and the next thing I know, I'm like, oh man, I haven't <laughs> done anything. I've been sitting here listening to music for the past hour or two, you know? It's fantastic. And anytime something can do that is already like amazing in my book. So anyhow, off to the Aeolus races. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So... Aeolus plugged in. Let's signal the noise. Go, go, penguin, this bad boy now. Hi ho, silver. Away. Oh man. First off, so comfortable. 
But that being said, the Aeolus, man, like what a freaking headphone. It sounds so good <laughs> for, for what it is. Like for, to me, the, this is going to be a little bit weird, but to me, the Aeolus is everything that I wanted like an HD650 to sound like, right? It is a little bit, uh, the stage is definitely collapsed comparatively to the Atrium. The detail isn't quite as good, and I think the way that they present the mid-range is different, so therefore it's it's not necessarily that it's not as good, but it, it I mean, actually, yeah, <laughs> the Atrium just smashes all over it on the mid-range. And But that being said, the Atrium is still more of that clean neutral sound, neutral warm, and the Aeolus is definitely more of that warm warm. <laughs> I wouldn't call it dark or anything like that, but it's definitely warm. It still can just kind of get through the splash with some with the, the hi-hats and the drums and what have you, and it sounds lovely. It's just like I said, it's just a comfort food. It's just what I want when I don't want to think about anything else. just want to just kind of listen to music and not think about it, right? The Aeolus does that. It's fantastic. Back to the comparison, I would say for me, between the two, they definitely fall in line with their, like their, where they sit, in my opinion, in the ZMF lineup. I would say the Atrium is, is definitively a total headphone. In fact, the way I'd almost put it, actually, the, the way I said about the Sennheiser, or the 650s, right? That's kind of like, the Atrium would be not literally sounding the same, but just kind of like in like the difference in performance and what have you. The Aeolus is kind of like the 650 and the Atrium is kind of like the HG 800s <laughs> in that sense of like where they they sit in the, the lineup and it and performance and, and capabilities and what have you. And they're doing two different things even in those comparisons. So yeah, I do think that there's a place for both of them and they're fantastic. Both of them are lovely. But that being said, the Aeolus can be a little bit I wouldn't call it muddy, but it does have that bass kind of boom and bloom a little bit more so. And the, whereas the Atrium has more of this punchy clean sound, but still having that nice sub bass. And I, I really find it addictive the way that it presents the low end, even though it's not as like boomy as I, the perception of it is that it is way more bass quantity and, and presence there. But in reality, when you do AB to something like the Aeolus, it's, it's not as much for sure, but for whatever reason, the way it's presented, it just it makes me feel like there is more there than there is. So, yeah, kind of fun and interesting. All right, so to wrap this up, I think the Atrium is stupid good, and it's rapidly becoming my new favorite open back headphone. Just addictive as all get out, and I literally lose time listening to it. Every time I put it on, it's like, there goes, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour, two hours. Lovely headphone. And the Aeolus just that comfort food fun enjoyable and relaxing headphone that i this this is one of the headphones that's my comfort food i'm just gonna straight up say it it's fantastic i don't listen to it all the time and it's one of those things once i do put it on it's i get the same kind of thing i get lost in it and just relax and enjoy the the journey <laughs> so uh fantastic love both of these headphones on that note uh, catch you all on the next one. Keep an eye out for the next comparison video. I'll be doing the VO. So, yeah. Cheers. Have a good one, everyone. This is the top of the... the...